This is the targeted skill of an input output box. Students will be able to use an input output box. Begin the um, week by watching a short tutorial from LearnZillion on understands functions in terms of inputs and outputs. I introduce the I can statement to the students, which is I can use an input output box. I bring them to the whiteboard where I can model several examples and they can practice with me. On the second day, they will be um, practicing with a partner and they will play a magic function machine. <clears throat> In this activity, students will be creating a um, spinner and then it will determine their rule. The students will use that to complete the um, tables on the other sheet. So they're given either the input or the output, and then based on the rule from their spinner, they need to find the other one. The next day, the students will be um, practicing on their own and completing the function machine worksheet. There's one value left out, so the students need to determine what that value is. And then I also ask that the students write down the rule The next day, I'll be checking in with the students and going over those function machine problems. The first few I do with the students, and then the next ones I have students explain their thinking of how they found the rule and the missing input or output. And the last day, the interactive practice, a game called Stop That Creature. This is off PBS Kids. So the students have to, um, they actually watch the number go in and then out of the box, and then they have to determine, um, you know, what the, what the rule was. So they can change the operation and then the number uh, of to what it was used. <clears throat> and the assessment is another um, sheet where they're just determining the missing number and then again I ask them to write down the rule as well. And that's an overview of the function machine targeted skill or input output box targeted skill.